Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training website passmyinterview.com and in this tutorial I will teach you how to prepare for a logistics manager interview. So if you are applying to become a logistics manager with any company or organization, make sure you stay tuned because I promise to help you be the standout candidate at your interview. And to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover to help you. Number one, I will give you a list of logistics manager job interview questions I strongly recommend you prepare for. These questions come up all the time during logistics management interviews. You need to have an answer prepared for each question. Number two, I will give you several important tips for answering each of those interview questions correctly to get the highest scores achievable. Number three, I will then give you my own unique example answers to each logistics manager interview question to help you pass. And then finally, number four, I will tell you where you can instantly download my full set of 27 logistics and logistics manager interview questions and top scoring answers in a PDF guide, including the answers I am about to give you during this presentation. And just very quickly, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Literally thousands of you, and I mean thousands of you, are passing your job interviews at the very first attempt. I can only help you if you are subscribed. And please give the video a like because that motivates me to create more content for you. And I will also answer any questions you have in the comments section below the video. Thank you very much. Okay, the first question I recommend you prepare for is tell me about yourself. So this will be the first logistics manager interview question you must answer. Now, in your response, talk about the skills and qualities you have that match the job description. That's important. And also talk about how you have a track record of achievement in previous work related roles. I also recommend practicing your answer to this first question until you know it off by heart. So this will help reduce interview nerves and also help you to build a connection with the hiring manager. So if you give a confident answer to this first question, it sets you up for the rest of your interview. Let me now give you my example unique response to this question. Tell me about yourself. Here we go. My name is Richard and before applying for this position, I studied the job description to ensure I had the skills, leadership qualities and expertise to excel in the role. Over recent years, I have worked in several logistics positions where I gained diverse skills, qualities and attributes that enabled me to become a competent logistics manager. I am a decisive decision maker. I hold my team accountable, work at pace, take ownership of problems and always work towards achieving the organization's objectives in everything I do as a logistics manager. I have a track record of success. For example, in my previous role, I helped the organization set up a new logistics and distribution center and recruited warehouse staff and drivers to ensure smooth and effective operations. If you hire me as your logistics manager, I will be highly organized, plan for potential problems and ensure safe and efficient operations are always maintained. That is a brilliant answer that's going to help you get your logistics manager interview off to a flying start. Now you can either pause the video if you want to and write down the questions and answers as we work through them together, or if you want to wait, I will soon tell you where you can instantly download my full set of 27 logistics and logistics manager interview questions and top scoring answers, including the ones we are working through together today. Here's the next question. So why do you want to be a logistics manager? So this next question is assessing your motivations for working as a logistics manager. Now, a high level of responsibility comes with this position, as you already know, and it takes a unique set of skills and qualities to be successful. Tip number two, as part of your answer, you could say that logistics is a high growth industry, and you will get to coach and develop your team members to be the best they can be. And you find those things appealing in the role. Here's my own example answer to help you. Why do you want to be a logistics manager? 
I want to be a logistics manager primarily because of the level of responsibility that comes with the position. To be an effective logistics manager, you must be in control of everything that falls within your remit. And that responsibility suits my personality, high standards and work ethic. I also want to be a logistics manager because it is a high growth industry, meaning I should never be out of work. Providing you excel in your work as a logistics manager, there are opportunities to progress within an organisation and I also find that appealing. Finally, I want to be a logistics manager because you are always kept busy and you get the opportunity to coach, develop and direct your staff to ensure they achieve your logistic and distribution goals. So that's another really positive and motivated answer to help you pass your interview. Now don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to give you. But when you're ready, you can click that link that has appeared in the top right hand corner of the video. Head straight through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can instantly download a copy of these slides, plus my full set of 27 logistics and logistics manager interview questions and top scoring answers in a PDF guide. So you can have it in your inbox literally within two minutes from now. Here's the next question I recommend you prepare for. What are your strengths and weaknesses? Tip number one, give several strengths that match the job description and demonstrate your competence as a logistics manager. And tip number two, only give one weakness, but make sure it is not a match for anything that is listed on the job description. So here's my own top scoring example answer to help you. What are your strengths and weaknesses? Here we go. My strengths are a close match for the job description. I am a strong decision maker. My management style can be adapted to suit the situation I'm faced with. And I can think creatively to solve time sensitive challenges and make improvements to logistical and distribution processes. Other strengths include my communication and interpersonal skills. I can get the most out of people and easily motivate a team to work at pace. I have a strong focus on safety, excellent time management capabilities, and I'm competent in the use of IT. Now, my biggest weakness is the fact that I used to micromanage team members, especially when I first started working as a logistics manager. However, I understand that micromanaging is not conducive to effective management, and that is one of the reasons why I started to utilize a delegative style of management to force myself to allocate tasks based on individual team members' strengths and then step back, trust them, and supervise from a distance. That's a really good answer. It's a, an excellent answer because you are giving several strengths that are a match for the role of a logistics manager, and you are then giving one weakness, and you are saying you used to micromanage, but you understand it's not conducive to effective management, and you have changed yourself by using a delegative style of management. So you delegate tasks, based on team members' strengths. So it shows that you are self-aware and also you are always willing to improve on any weaknesses you might have. That's important. Here's the next question. How would you handle a difficult employee as a logistics manager? Wow, this is a really tough question. It is assessing your confidence as a manager. Tip number one. So this is one of the most common logistics management interview questions that needs a confident and decisive answer. Tip number two, in your response, I recommend talking about how you build positive working relationships with your team members, expect high standards and tackle any productivity or disciplinary issues quickly. That's important. Don't let them go unnoticed. You have to tackle difficult employees quickly, calmly and professionally. Here's my own example answer to help you. How would you handle a difficult employee as a logistics manager. I would set out my expectations as soon as I started work as a logistics manager. Doing so gives me a reference point to come back to when tackling disciplinary productivity issues or difficult employees. I would conduct performance reviews with all staff members to determine their strengths, training needs and motivations to work. The performance review would also enable me to build positive working relationships with all employees under my control. 
Now, if a staff member were difficult, I would tackle the problem immediately. I would talk to them in private, establish why they were being difficult and create a plan of action to get them back up to speed quickly. While I would always have disciplinary procedures to fall back on, this would be a last resort because I would want to build a positive team environment where everyone is motivated to work, praised for good performance and empowered to be the best they can be. That is an outstanding answer and it shows you to be a confident and decisive logistics manager who is in control at all times. That's important. Here's the next question. What's your management style? Tip number one, this question is being asked to assess whether your style of management is suited to their organisation. So be very careful how you answer it. Tip number two, I recommend saying you have an adaptable style of management that can be used depending on the situation you are dealing with. This is how I would answer this question. What's your management style? My management style is dependent on the situation I am faced with as a logistics manager. I will use either an autocratic, delegative or transformational style of management. I will use an autocratic style of management when time is of the essence, when I need to get things done quickly and give staff members clear instructions. I will use a delegative style of management to allocate logistical tasks based on individual team members' strengths. Finally, I will use a transformational style of management to coach, train and motivate the people in my team to implement the logistic and distribution changes requested by the senior management team. That's a really good answer because you are saying you have an adaptable style of management. You are not afraid to be autocratic and tell people what they need to do with clear instructions and timeframes. But you also delegate tasks based on team member strengths and then you use a transformational style of management, which is important in modern day management because it shows that you are adaptable to change, you embrace it and you encourage your team members to implement it quickly and efficiently. So that's another really good answer. Now you can see how all of these responses are going to put you ahead of the competition at your forthcoming logistics management interview. So the next thing to do is click that link right now in the top right hand corner of the video, head straight through to my website, passmyinterview.com and you can instantly download my full set of 27 logistics and logistics manager interview questions and answers. So you get that guide, but you also, in addition to those 27 questions and answers, get a copy of these slides. So you will get these answers too to save you writing them down. Make sure you go through to that website at the very least because on that page I have given you more important tips. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you learn the art of passing job interviews, it significantly increases your earning potential. I can help you throughout your career. I can also help you to negotiate a salary and get promoted when you are ready. I can only do those things if you are subscribed to the channel. So please hit that red subscribe button. Please also just give the video a like. As I said at the start, it, it motivates me to create more content for you. And it also tells me that you find these training tutorials useful. And don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. It's always an honor and a pleasure to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting my channel. I wish you all the best for passing your logistics management interview. Have a great day.